Well, guess what I did? Yeah. You can, I don't even have to say it. It's obvious. And I'm in, in the middle of a contest. The contest stipulates no vehicle changes. What if, what if, what if I change vehicles? The closest one that can help me... If I, if I change vehicles, object failed. Truck has been changed. Objective failed. How did that flip? That is very, very interesting. So, even though the objective failed, I wonder if I can still do it a total of three times. That was only my first attempt, which I've done before. I've done this mission before in previous saved games. When I first started playing this game for the very first day, I started with the tutorial, the regular version of this game. I played it for six days, long story short, I played it in hard mode, of course, because that's what everybody does, eventually, so they want to try it out, and then they realize that they like hard mode better. So, the point is, I've already done this Pinewood Express contest, I believe that is what it is called. Make sure I get the name right. Yes, Pinewood Express. Many, many times already because the regular version of this game, it is a, you can farm it as far as I know. Don't quote me on that. But in the hard version, which I'm playing, you can only attempt it three times. So what I want to do is first confirm whether or not I only have two attempts left or one because Flipping, flipping my Fleet Star right there is pretty much impossible, but yet it happened. Of course it did. Two attempts left. So my first attempt at less than eight minutes, I always do this in less than eight minutes. It's not that difficult once you get the correct upgrades for your Fleet Star, which is the upgraded engine and some decent tires. I'm talking the tires you get at level six. So that's gone. $3,300 is gone. I only have two more attempts left. Wow, that's that's devastating for this game. Because cash in the hard mode is so difficult to maintain. There's so many things that's needed for cash. Not only in case you need to recover a vehicle, which I've only done once so far in this saved game playthrough. But cash is just very scarce in the very beginning of this game. It's so, so easy to fail. Whoa, 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 not this one, too. Don't flip this one, too. Holy cow, that almost just happened. Cash is very scarce in the beginning of this game, and I am still in the very beginning, even though I've only... I've accomplished only 19 missions. I'm rank 6. It is still possible I'd have to start over again. I'm not in a comfortable position right now with this game. And then this happens. All the lumber fell out. Let me show you. All the lumber. Whoops. I gotta get a little closer. But if I do, I'm gonna flip. There. There you can get a, get a good shot, kind of. This is as far as I can zoom out. The zoom out capability for this game is horrible, and I have field of view turned all the way at maximum for third person in the settings menu. And this is as far as I can look out. It's it's pretty pathetic for this game to be not be able to zoom out very far. But whatever, it is what it is. This game is still fun. So I need to unflip this. That's a good attach point, uh, attachment point. Hopefully this works. It should. Shouldn't be that difficult. Looks like it's going to be more difficult. This one is actually the one, this Fleet Star, I got flipped before. Or actually, not flipped. I got it stuck in the mud. Like, really deep. Like, to the tires, where the, t where the tires were buried deep up to the axle. 
and the tires were not as good. So you gotta. I. It, it's it's easy to make mistakes in this game, but what's bad is having to pay for a recovery for five thousand dollars for the Fleet Star every time. You can see the lumber. Yeah. It's just in a bad spot to even turn back over. I'm gonna have to pull it downhill. Now this Chevy has the V8. And I have 11 gallons of extra fuel that I carry with me. The V8 burns a lot of fuel, but it's worth it. I tell you what. That extra power. The V8 is, is the best for this truck, and it's... No, I... Hold on, I'm getting off. I can't even tow it this way. I have the GMC still, but it, it just doesn't have the right tires to get in this mud. So I'd have to... I plan on possibly keeping it. I don't know if I want to sell it. I, I, the more trucks... Hold on. The more trucks, the better. But it doesn't have the right tires or the right engine upgrade right now, and I don't have that much cash, as you all see. As you all saw here, $9,700, that's pennies. I was planning on upgrading to level 7 with this contest. It would have gotten me close to 1500 Really close. But now I only have two attempts left. How did this happen? I was on the main road and barely, barely touched. I barely... Maybe I didn't barely, obviously, because it flipped, but what a pathetic vehicle. This makes me more paranoid for the future. How did the flips, uh, the Fleet Star flip on its side here? That's uncommon. Do you know how many times I've gone up and down this hill? No pun intended. Although that sounds like a perfect pun. Didn't plan on it. What in the heck just happened? But that's how hard mode is. On reg the regular version of this game, I believe, and let me know in the comments, I think I'm correct, you can farm contests as much as you want. In the regular version of this game, cash. There's so much cash. So much cash. It's ridiculous how much cash. Because you can explore, you can run out of fuel, you can teleport to the garage for free. It gives you free fuel. The regular version of this game is definitely good for new players to get to know this game. But the hard mode version of this game is a completely different game. It turns this game on its head, so to speak. It's a figure of speech. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to spend another $5,000 to recover this. No way. The more times you have to do that is the more that I'm going to be approaching failure and have to do an another restart? I've already done one restart on hard mode and I did 24 missions on that one, which I still have the saved game, saved game for. But I, I had to leave. I had no choice. But that's another video. Maybe, maybe I'll make a video about that. Why I had to do a restart. That'll be for another time. thinking maybe I should just invest in the GMC, get it some better tires. It's heavy enough. Hold on, let me turn the engine off. Hold on a second. Stop engine. Hit the, hit the handbrake just in case because I've come back to vehicles that I didn't hit the handbrake for and they're in different locations. Like, like there was a miniature earthquake, might be a 4.0 in the game itself <laughs> and the vehicle had moved or sunk deeper into the mud because I didn't put the handbrake on and then went to another vehicle played it for a couple hours came back to the same vehicle that previously they had to handle and it's changed it's like, see deeper in the mud it's moved locations that's a cool aspect about this game There's, everything is involved if you, if, you, if you think they thought about it the developers thought about it then yes they put it in the game so be aware of that. Oh, 
Okay. What was I going to do? Oh, yes. Changed. Hold on. Hold, hold on a second here. So many extra steps. I see. I get so confused. There's just too many buttons to press sometimes. Okay, back to the GMC. My mind is racing right now. There's so much to cover. Maybe I upgrade the tires to mud tires because I can, which I think is like 4,500 bucks. Maybe upgrade the engine. Then maybe I can use this to winch that Fleet Star, my Fleet Star, into a better position and then use the Chevy to flip it back over because with the V8 it should have enough power. But first I need to get it off that hill. So that's what I need to think about possibly doing. Or maybe I should just work on the... But that all, it burns fuel. Everything burns fuel. The more you, the more time you try to get unstuck, the more fuel you're burning. And then on hard mode, you never want to purchase fuel. There's so many free fuel containers that used strategically, even though they're for missions for this game, you can have so much fuel if you do it strategically. But that's for another video as well. Oh, how, how annoying, how annoying. So what I plan on doing then is dragging it down this hill. If you can imagine, past that sign right there that says drilling site. Drag it down a little bit more and then with using the GMC, which is called the GMC MH9500, to drag it downhill because it's heavy enough, hopefully it can pull it, plus with the upgraded tires, even though it's not all-wheel drive, should still work, but at least it won't get stuck in the mud. And then use this Chevy CK1500 once once I drag the Fleet Star down the hill a little bit more, then I can flip this back on its uh, upright. That's the plan. Because I that that means if I do that, I'm gonna have to keep the GMC because I'm going to be investing new tires, possibly a new engine. That would be good. I don't know if I can afford it. I haven't looked. And I still have the other CK1500, which I found on the other part of Michigan, which is the next step. I haven't sold that yet. Which I'm, I, I might have to. I guess I, I, I should show, show everybody. And to do that, I have to go to the garage. Because it's on the other map. Click the garage. Click global map. S Smithfield Dam. And here it is. It's the other CK1500. Which I have not... Whoops, that's, that's not where it's at. There it is. I haven't refueled it. I haven't put any investment into it as far as parts. And I think I, I get a little over $5,000 selling it on hard mode because you only get half of what it's actually worth. And I have four gallons of fuel left in it to get it to the garage, which I'm thinking about doing. Not to recover, which, which would actually pay for the recovery fee for the Fleet Star, but to invest in the GMC on the other map that I showed everybody. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's nice to have two trucks. Cargo trucks, that is. But it's also nice to have two CK1500s. I was planning on hopefully keeping this because I have the repair tools to do that. I have the repair tools to do that because the this vehicle here is already connected to the repair trailer that comes with at the start of the game so it wouldn't cost me anything I'd like to keep that other CK 1500 uh, I don't know 
I've got some thinking to do. But this this is what heart is all about. <laughs> how did I how how did that how did this happen? It's, and, and because I'm doing a contest, of course it happens. The only time I've ever flipped any truck, period, on this hill is when I'm doing a contest. Because because I I was a little bit too close to that edge of the road there. The two tracks road. Boy, I never thought that would happen. The lumber just made it too top heavy. But still. Why? 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 <laughs> Ah, how dumb, but fun, this situation is. Wow, let's just look at this for a second, just a little bit longer. Have a good day, everybody. got some thinking that I've got to do. What am I going to do about this? I'd like to just hopefully, maybe... What if I ram it? Whoops, wrong vehicle. Change trucks. That's the only time this works, by the way. Changing trucks is if there's another truck in the vicinity nearby. Otherwise, you need to go to the main map, the big giant map to change trucks. That's for another video. Not this one. What if... What if I push it downhill? And I've got a, I've got a, a guard in the front. Boy, though, it's going to bang up the body. No, 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 no. Don't flip. Come on. What if I just gently coax it? Don't want to do it from the back. And I don't want to mess up the body any more than... Um, no, no, don't turn there. I will definitely flip if I turn around right there. Need to turn around in a better, safe, safer spot. There we go. This is best. Because if I can get this downhill a little bit more, there won't be any investments needed. I, I don't really want to invest in that GMC just yet. That other truck. I'd like to just... Wait, go, 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 go. Push, push. Is it working? Yeah, need, look at look at the bodywork though, already banged up on the fleet star. This is gonna make it even worse. Oh well, I haven't repaired the bodywork yet, so. This is working. Little by little, it is working. Let's back up a little bit more. Yes, it is working. The problem is, it's burning fuel as I do it. So there's always the cost on hard mode. And you don't want to purchase fuel on hard mode. You want all your fuel to be for free. But to do that, you have to have fuel tankers, which I do. I've been... Boy, that just barely nudges it. How much fuel is that going to burn? Definitely, definitely less than paying five thousand dollars. Definitely less than having to putting in a, an investment in my other cargo truck, which I showed everyone. Definitely less, and there doesn't really seem to be much damage because I'm hitting that plate right there in the front, which I invested in. But I'm sure, I'm sure it's probably messing up the bodywork. But I don't know; it doesn't seem to be apparent. But it is moving it little by little, at a snail's pace. Now that one didn't do anything. It's like barely moving, like millimeters. Like, like two inches every time. Maybe not even that, like an eighth of an inch. And it's just, I'm just burning fuel as I do this. I'm going to winch it this way. 
Oh, I, I got the idea now. Boy, that, that hill is just... I, can't, I, I, I never knew it was that dangerous until now. So what I'll do is I'll go as far as I can. Right here. Attach it there. That is so annoying. All the power comes from driving in the forward position, not reverse. So if I go like this and then floor it, just like SpongeBob, floor it. See what happens. Oh, it moved it sort of. Did move it a little bit. It definitely did move it. Did it move it that time? I gotta, I gotta go like this. If I do it like this. There it did. It's moving it. It's all about... Boy, is that heavy. And since I have the crane, maybe I should just remove that cargo. Of course that's what I should do. Change truck. This was free to load the cargo, by the way, because I have the crane, so there was no money loss here. What I plan on doing is to... Remove the cargo, free of charge, no money lost, hold on, hit the change truck, go forward, winch it, right about here, ah, that radius really is terrible. I don't have the, I haven't, I don't have enough rank points to invest in the better winches yet, which have a better radius. Now there's less weight on there, maybe, it, maybe it'll make it easier to tow this. Or winch it, whatever. Okay, 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 that's better. That's better. This is working. This is working. This is what I want. This is working, yes. I'm gonna continue with this. Back up a little bit. So the investment in the V8, definitely worth it for the Chevy. Keep going, keep going. So the lumber I can reload again because I have the crane free of charge, but I'm but I only have two attempts left for that contest. And if I flip again, I might as well buy a lottery ticket because flipping it on that hill is unheard of. Did you catch the did you catch the, the joke there? If you did, let me know in the comments. Okay, keep going, keep going. In other words, what I was saying, the odds, if I flip it again, the odds have got to be incredible that I flip it again. All right, that's good. Now I should have enough room free now that I can flip this back straight upright without having to worry about it. And just cut my losses on the contest only got two out of three attempts left but it's better it's better than paying five thousand to recover this and invest in the GMC which is only right now I, I don't have the upgrade for the all-wheel drive yet which even the investment in the GMC wouldn't might not even not have even worked because I don't use that right now I don't use that truck most people sell it it's the starter truck but I still want to keep it. I like to keep all the... I haven't sold any vehicles yet. I like to keep them. Especially in this new version of... I mean, this new save that I've been playing now. Work, please work. Yes, yes, go, 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 go. Oh, I gotta, I gotta... No, 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 no. I gotta pull it back a little bit further because it was catching on just the very 
tip of the edge of that hill. Whoops, sorry, there we go. Back it up a little further. That's good. Not getting enough traction because of the mud. I gotta get traction here on the grass. That should give me some more traction. Tow it a little bit further. All right, now let's do this again. We've got more traction, why is it not? Wait a minute, what if I do this? Such a heavy truck, even, even though I took the lumber out. Oh, yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll winch it and drag it. Whoa, almost flipped. If I attach it, attach it there. There we go, there we go. That's, that's the ticket. Come on. All right, now, now I should be able to do it. Flip it upright. Cut my losses and call it a day. Right there. Here we go, and it's done. Cool. All right, everybody, have a good day. I hope you have enjoyed this video, even though it was long.